Martinez. Yeah. 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 This year, champion in California in Division Here we go! 2018 Foot Locker National. Now somebody is going to make a move. Somebody is going to burst out of this group. Come on, Jordan! And eighth, Evan Bishop in ninth, and Mark Cheeseman. The 2018 Foot Locker National Championships in San Diego. We're here with Connor Livingston of De La Salle High School in Concord. 15th today at the Nationals here. You mentioned a sense you didn't feel too good beforehand. Kind of explain what you think about the race and how you did, how did it play out for you? Uh, I mean, like I said, just felt like I didn't have it uh, all the way, but um, it's just, just a grind of a race, really hard course. Um, obviously, with the level of competition, it was just really tough, but it was also a lot of fun to be able to race guys from across the country, guys that I've gotten to know over the past few days. Um, so it was really fun, and yeah, I didn't feel great, but just the second loop just really tried to, to get back in it mentally because I fell back to probably in the 25th around there and tried to revamp um, and come back strong for that last mile, and I was able to do that. Uh, I was really happy with that, and it's, it was a really fun race. You had a bit of a roller coaster uh, towards the end. You had a good showing at the state, that state meet, very good showing. There was a bit of confusion online as far as official results, and it looked like you may be the last qualifier for NXN or, or, or not. Coach mentioned that was kind of your goal. Didn't work out where you were the first alternate. You end up running up Foot Locker West, do really well there, get your ticket to nationals here. Great experience, obviously. Um, what was your goal coming in, given the fact that it's people you haven't, for the most part, haven't raced before, or raced against before, top quality people also, a foreign course for you. What was your mindset in, as far as what was possible? What were you thinking? Uh, I mean, my mindset was just uh, race as well as I can. Um, I mean, obviously, that, that sounds really simple, but... Um, just the main focus was that last mile and a half. Be proud of what I can do, and be proud of um, just putting it all putting it all forth in my last high school cross country race, and just um, really focusing on putting it all out there and, and running as strong as I, as I could. And then place wise, I really wanted to get top 15th All American, and I was really happy that I was able to do that. And, and proud of the way that I fought over that last mile when I kind of got down on myself a little bit, wasn't there, and was able to come back. So good season last year. Very good credentials in track and field also. So you come into this season with big goals. Then you got the situation with the fires and mm -hmm. stuff going on. You know, some of the, the questions of you know, right. will we have an NCS championships and so forth. You guys got your race in, but how much of that was nerve-wracking for you in terms of it potentially costing you some of your goals? I mean, it was definitely, um, obviously, it's kind of an unprecedented scenario. And um, it was definitely nerve-wracking, but I trust my coach a lot. I trust the training that we do. Um, and so I just tried to stay into it and... and make sure that I was focusing on each day, uh, going out each day with a purpose, you know, even though we're on the treadmill for two weeks, you know, go on the treadmill with a purpose, do the stretching, do the uh, exercises, and just make sure I'm going about it, and just remind myself that this isn't the off season, this isn't the time where we, we can take a break, just stay locked in, trust yourself, trust what we're doing, and, and keep at it. So I would describe you as pretty dangerous for a couple of reasons. You know, you, you run well at the end of the season, you're doing that again this year. Just the fact that also this is your first national meet. This which does doesn't matter which meet you go to. You go to a meet of this level, it really opens your eyes and it helps you recalibrate right. your goals. Given what you've already achieved, and then given the experience you gain here, what's your excitement level for track and field upcoming? I mean, I'm really excited. It's uh, track's always really fun. I mean, so it's cross country, but I think I enjoy track a little bit more. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. And like you said, just having this experience is great. And I really do pride myself on when we get to the postseason, being at my sharpest, especially mentally. Um, you know, I'm, I do well in the regular season, but it's really postseason where I really try to be sharp. And I think I, I've done that over the past few years. And it's really exciting. Looking forward to getting a little time off and, and being able to turn my mind towards running well on track and uh, being able to focus on that. All right, Connor Livingston, Connor Livingston one of the, definitely one of the money men in California in the big races. He's there again here, All-American at Foot Locker. Congratulations. Thank you very much.